Hi, my name is Mr. Chu and I welcome you to my study room. If today is your first time, then I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more videos. In my last video, we started our study on the nature of roots of a quadratic equation. And today we would like to continue with what it means when we say a quadratic equation has distinct real roots. Let's go into the study for today. Thank you. Do you remember discriminants? Yes. That is, if we want to call it D, that will be D equals B squared minus 4AC. The part of the formula that is in there square root all right for a quadratic equation to have distinct real roots this discriminant here should be greater than zero that is yeah so for distinct real root b squared minus 4ac which we are calling the discriminant should be greater than zero which is the same as or b squared should be greater than 4ac we haven't changed anything we just move this one to the right hand side of the greater than in a graph of a quadratic equation the curve will cut the x axis twice so for example you remember we said uh, if a is greater than zero the graph will look like look like u so in that situation we will have This being our y as is, and these are x as is, and this is our curve. If the two roots are, let's say, alpha and beta, then this will be the solution where the graph cuts the x axis that becomes our solution but then in this type of question you will not need to draw a graph to waste your time since you need scale and other things and in the case where a is less than zero you know we discussed that too earlier in quadratic equation that a graph will look like n we mountain shape so we have our x as is our y as is and if our a is less than zero our graph will look this way and this will be our alpha and this will be our beta yeah so for distinct roots always your curve to cut the x axis as two different places. Then we take an example. There, whether or not the equation. 2x squared minus 3x minus 1 equals 0 has real root, has real and distinct roots. As we know this already, you don't need to go and draw the graph or even solve all the way to get the roots before you can solve. 
you just have to tell us that for for rear and distinct root or for distinct rear root are discriminants which is b squared minus 4 ac should be greater than zero that is just what you want to tell us and from this question our uh, a is 2 our uh, b is negative 3 and our uh, c is negative 1 now we are just going to test and then we write our answer so our uh, b is negative 3 all squared minus 4 our uh, a is 2 our c is negative 1 and we check this is going to give us 9 negative 4 times 2 negative 8 times 1 positive 8 so plus 8 and this will give us 17 which is greater than 0 so since our 17 is greater than 0 it satisfies the condition we we'll conclude that therefore the equation has distinct real root since the discriminant is greater than 0 that is all we can try another example using the same instruction we are checking whether x squared minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0 has distinct real root or not so the same way our a is 1 our b is negative 5 and our c is 4 so for distinct real roots b squared minus 4 ac which is our discriminant should be greater than zero let's check and see whether that is true our b is negative 5 squared minus 4 our a is 1 our c is 4 this will give us 25 minus 16 which will give us 9 and 9 is greater than 0 so the same conclusion therefore the equation x squared minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0 has distinct real roots and you can take your own equation when you take the calculator you solve it and check whether the equation has two different rules or not then you verify with this answer you verify with this formula you get the same thing thank you i hope today's study has been of help to you if yes why not consider subscribing to this channel for more videos until we meet again in our next lesson, thank you for making time with me. Bye-bye.